All right, you ready? Nice shirt. <laughs> yeah. Very. I like the color. <laughs> What is up, watch fam? I am Christian from Theo and Harris. And I'm Christian's evil twin. Actually, remember? We, if anything, we I'm my own evil twin. I don't yeah, know it's what. true. Christian did an interview a while ago with Teddy Baldessar. Yeah. And the top comment on that video is, Christian is just Teddy's evil twin. Yes. It's the most true thing I've ever heard. Yes, that is so it. Yes. funny. Great, so today we're at London Jewelers in yes, their Manhasset location. They're an authorized dealership for basically every watch brand you could want, you know, from Rolex and AP to Cartier and to Panerai, which we're both wearing. We'll get a wristwatch check. Yep. Uh, JLC and Bulgari and a whole bunch of stuff. So mm -hmm. if you are looking to buy a new watch, uh, take a look at London Jewelers. If you're in the New York area, shoot Anthony uh, an email. He is the store manager here, Anthony Kozlowski. His email is below. Um, tell him you know us and you guys will be like buddies immediately. Right? Yeah. Any friend of mine is a friend of his. Yes. Great. So let's let's get into it. What are you wearing on your wrist today? I am wearing a Panerai Illuminor Submersible. Yeah. Gold Tech, aka Rose Gold. Yes. Everyone has got a fancy name for it, but ultimately, I mean, you know, I'm sure there's more to it. There's a different alloy, but it yes. is Rose Gold. But it's Rose Gold. Yes. I am also wearing a Panerai. I am wearing their uh, Panaristi uh, 2020 Pam 2020. Um, oh. Really cool watch. Uh, you know, it's got the it's got it, it's it's over branded with the Panaristi thing. Uh, I think you know, but I think this is a beautiful watch. Um, I am not a Panaristi. I was never on that forum. It's not my things made especially for the Panaristi forum which is really one of the earliest watch forums yeah you know which is awesome yeah um, what I love about this watch obviously sandwich dial a lot of like that vintage brown stuff going on mm -hmm. um, but I love the case and the wire lugs they call they call the case uh, vin uh, patina finish patina. I don't love the name of that yep. but what I do love is the finish um, it's somewhere between brushed and polished mm -hmm. it's neither yeah I think it's amazing like it's blasted. I, I don't know what it is. All I know is it's pretty. Just like me. Just like... All we know is that I'm pretty. That's why I got hired. What do you like to do on the weekends? <laughs> Remember that? When I was first talking to Christian, I was asking him about workload and everything. Because when Michael came to the company, the workload was very different than it is now. Yes. Yes. Which, if I would have known that... <laughs> I never would have taken the job. Yeah. I forget, what did I ask you specifically? You said, because we ran through the entire like job description, and he's like, okay, cool, so what else? Like, what else do we do? And I said, right. <laughs> in, the most, in the most polite voice that you'll never hear Christian use. What else do we do? I said, you mean like, you want to hang out as friends? He said, well, I, I mean, I'm sure we could do extracurriculars if that's that what, what you're you interested want? in. We, we can, can go see a movie. Go see a movie? And I didn't know Christian that well. He didn't know me. So I was very politely like, I mean, yeah, I'm definitely open to that. Okay, great. Gotta go. Gotta go. <laughs> Got <laughs> Three weeks later, started building out the ad business and it's never been the same since. Business. No business. <laughs> oh, business. Friend. Friend. <laughs> uh, okay, great. So, uh, okay, what are our topics today? We're talking okay. about watches. So, the main topic of this video and the title is that Grand Seiko has won the Green Dial race, in my opinion. And the reason that is relevant this year is because basically every watch brand has been releasing Green Dialed yes. watches. Every single brand. Yes. I think Grand Seiko basically just bested everybody. They released three watches, we'll get into it later, but the color is amazing. They're so different. I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, if, if we had to wager who was gonna win the green dial race, or any dial race, mm -hmm. Grand Seiko is like, Grand Seiko's not gonna win. Yeah. You know, it's like, they're gonna win. They're, they're gonna not win. in the same league as anybody else. No, no, and especially dollar for dollar. Yep. You know, it's crazy. We love Grand Seiko. Grand Seiko is a partner of ours. We're not, we're not paid to give positive opinions. It's just, we love the watches. They're amazing watches. Right. Um, so anyway, we'll get to that conversation later. What but else are we talking other about Other than that, Oris is making a watch out of ocean plastics or their dials Again. out of that. Very cool. Well, not, not, they didn't do oh, dials no, again, before. Again, again, yeah. But they didn't do dials before. Right. They just they did, did the back of the watch. Backs. Yep. yep. So they a little bit more daring too, which we'll get into. Yep. And Bulgari, they did a Divina. I can't read that. Divina Mosaica. Divina. Divi oh wait, do the whole thing. Divina. Divina Mosa uh, mo Mosaica. <laughs> Mosaica. Mosaica. <laughs> okay, for me. They did basically Minute repeater. Basically Bulgari. a diamond that is a minute repeater. They basically have a giant diamond of a watch it that is, is a minute a repeater. Good watch. Uh, which ties into Oris very, very loosely, but something I'll bring up. Grand Seiko, of course. And then the reason I am wearing this shirt and a diver is because I realized something about myself that we'll get into. What? I can't tell you till the end. Okay, I can't tell you till the end. You have to stay and watch. You have to stay and um, watch. All right, cool. So, Oris first? Yes. First of all, off the bat, what do you think? I really like that. Yeah, right. And it also, it's kind of nasty. The more I like become acquainted with Oris, the more I'm like, oh, they're a 
company that makes really good watches with very daring things. Yeah, you know, these watches remind me very like, kind of like counterculture, like like the dials are very hippie. As I wear it to a fish concert. Yeah, yeah. Right, you know what I mean? Right. Like I wouldn't buy that watch particularly because it's plastic. I'd buy it because it's cool looking and just it's just kind of wild looking. Yeah. Add in the fact that it's pla and, 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 and attractive. Add in the fact that it's plastic and it's like, oh, okay, cool. So Oris is actually like doing right, something. I'll right. allow you to tell me the story, that your story about social responsibility. Right. Social responsibility has literally never sold me a single thing. Right. Not, literally nothing. Um, that being said, I can't greenwash Christian. You're not going to greenwash me. I parked my car in a green spot a couple weeks ago. And his car is <laughs> a G wag. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's not my thing. Mm -hmm. But um, that being said, they got my attention with the design. Yep. And then, yeah, you know, if I was sold, you know, you know by by a good salesperson mm -hmm. face to face, mm -hmm. that how how important this cause was to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would, it would bring me in. Yeah, but the dial, the watch itself brought me in first. The watch itself is stunning. So yeah. the smaller model, the thirty-six millimeter model, has much more aggressive and loud yes. patterns. Probably because it's probably marketed towards women related, louder. Yeah. yeah, I kind of like that one better. Yep. But that it's just like that is a sheet of plastic mm -hmm. from all different materials. Mm -hmm. It looks like it could be like a very fine stone yep, cut. Yep, absolutely. That right. I really like. So they, stone. Their goal is climate neutrality for them but they're also gonna release a sustainability report by 2022. Mm. I think they're the wor first watch brand that does that. I don't know. I think they are. At least they're the first one to advertise it. Je ne sais pas. I do not know. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. When that accent comes up, I know there's a few guys every time. They, they comment like, I love when he does that accent. Yeah, I, I am, uh, as, uh, this, right now, it is Tuesday. Um, You're right, yeah. When this video is released next Wednesday, I will be in Paris. Oh. I am in Paris. Uh, <laughs> are you where am I? In New Jersey. New Jersey. You're in Hoboken. Everything's... Yeah. I will be eating croissant. I will be uh, with a sasson of, uh, I don't know, what, 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 what do they put a sasson? Anyways, this watch is 300 meters water resistant, which is great. Yep. And also uses their 733 automatic movement, which power reserve was a little not that good. 38 hours? 38 hours. Who cares? I think the standard is becoming 72. Is it? I thought it was 42. I, th I look at a lot of them like now 72, or themselves, they had the double barrel movement that does that. So, I was a little shocked to see that, but also that's not that bad. $2,300, great price, mm -hmm. and this is not a limited release. It's not? No. Oh, it looks like it would be. They're cutting this wow, really when cool. people stop buying it. Wow. So if it doesn't sell, they'll cut it. That's if like it, Billy Joel at the Garden. He's only going to stop when yeah. people stop coming. Right. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah. And it's interesting because obviously that's every product. If people don't buy it, they stop making it. But that's a bold thing to say. Like, yeah, that cool. will just do it till you don't buy it. I like it a lot. Same. And London Jewelers does carry Oris, so if you're interested in learning more about this watch, uh, seeing it hands-on, whatever it might be, uh, shoot Anthony an email. This is the Divina Mosaica Mini Tripiter. The case is a diva's dream case. Uh, however, Mosaica watches. I can keep doing <laughs> it's like, so, first off, what do you think about this watch? I mean, I don't know a thing about it. What is this hanging thing? It's a hanging chat on the bottom. What is that? I don't know. It's, is it just a, is it, is it, is it an earring? Yeah, it's a watch. Wow, three hundred and sixty-eight thousand dollars. I okay. could buy a car with that money, <laughs> dude. You could buy. Yeah, no, it's probably just one car. Yeah, just <laughs> two, but you know, tax. Wow. So, anyways, this is Bulgari. Yeah. Very famous for having the thinnest minute, thinnest minute repeater. Mm. But this is obviously not that. This is, like I said, basically a diamond with a minute repeater in it. Yes. This is you pronounce it better than me, but inspired by tile works at the famous Baths of Caracalla. Yeah, whatever, I don't Car know. Who am I? I'm more from culture. Jersey, bro. <laughs> but that's what it's wow. inspired by. And you can see it directly. Super one cool. One. That's yeah. beautiful. Jeez, I like seeing gorgeous. the direct inspiration. Totally. I think that makes it a lot better, Absolutely a lot more interesting. Right. 689 diamonds. Mm -hmm. So the 37 millimeter case is set with brilliant cut on the inside, and then the outside is all baguettes. What is connected to Oris, though, 52 power, 52 hour power. Wow, in that's even with the minute so repeater and everything? Wow. Yeah, that's I wild. mean, probably not if you're always, you know, cranking no, of it, course, but just but like running in itself, it runs that much longer wow. than just an always dive Interesting. Washing. 217 AD, that's when the baths were finished. Yeah. Public baths. Yeesh. Mm. We're gonna have to hit Awkward. the gym before that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember a couple of years ago, uh, not, not that I'm in great shape now, but a couple of years ago, I, I really was in less, uh, even decent shape than I am now. And uh, I played a pickup soccer game. And I hadn't done it in a while, and I was really excited about it. I was stoked, because I'm, I'm actually pretty good at soccer. So yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, I haven't played in a while. I love it. This is going to be great. I show up to the field, and um, it was all people like I vaguely knew. And everyone was like, you know, thin and Portuguese. You know, they all look like Cristiano Ronaldo, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I kicked their, all their ass. 
by the way. Only really? one kid was better than me, yeah. You but know, you the, set the, this story up like it was gonna not be a good story. No, 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 wait. Then they said, all right, shirts and skins. And I was like, please shirts, please shirts, please shirts, please shirts, please shirts. And guess what I was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you're running, oh my God. I was like, you're, and I wasn't even like big. Running, I was like skinny fat. The you know people what I mean? can see you in slow motion. Yeah. Oh, I know oh exactly what you mean. God. I got through this every day. It was horrible. And then I fell. I, yeah, we were all oh, playing rough. So I fell and I like ripped up my back oh, on the turf. No. Oh my God, it was horrible. That's, no one likes to see yeah. that, that kind of guy yeah, fall. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Grand Seiko, mm. the main topic of this video. Green watches have been everywhere. Every brand, and you made a good point. If they didn't make a green watch this year and everybody else did, mm -hmm. they're late. Yep. Now people- They can't do it again they got another year, watch. Yeah. Right, they can't come out with it. So Grand Seiko came to the party and they did three. Three different shades or tints of green, not shades. All, this one is a little bit more blue. This one is basically as direct green as it gets. Then we have a watch that reminds me of the Breitling Heritage with like the pistachio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of these? I love them. Yeah. I mean, I would buy this one probably first. Okay. Uh, the one on the left, I think that's just, I mean, they're all stunning. I, I'd, I'd wear, I'd wear the one that's most blue. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, it, well, it's just so different. Yes. These colors are so different. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. I think that um, I don't know. I mean, I I would love to learn more about color. I'd love to I'd love to speak to someone. Like for we made fun of it not that long ago with the someone blue. else with the blue. Yeah. Yeah, but like, yeah. It is interesting to sit down and just kind of even just for like two hours. You know, not that you can yeah. learn everything, but just to be blown away by someone who literally picks colors for a living. You right. Know? I mean, right. That's wild. Yeah. Uh, and, and it sounds like it's so stupid. Well, if it was so stupid, then then why didn't the other brands pick colors this interesting? A lot of other brands picked. It's true. They went down the middle. It's true. Which is fine. Yeah. But this was daring. This, this is, is intelligent. This is a daring versus we need the green that sells. Exactly. And right. I can see why because this is limited edition. 140 yep. of each of these three. Yep. But they can be loud because they're all going to get snapped up. Yep. I think if they had to, well, they have the Mount Iwate that's green. That is more generally just a deep right. green. Yeah. Probably that's because that's it has more to mass green. market. Yeah. But right. it's beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a gorgeous watch. Forty nine hundred bucks. Wow, it's forty nine hundred bucks. It's a little bit more expensive than what it is based off of. No, oh, but I thought it was really cheap. not by much. It's based off the SBGW two three one. So they they're doing three limited editions of these, one hundred and forty each. What is that times three? One hundred forty times three. Oh, it's got to be at least a thousand. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> how about how about when I when I, every time I get a check at a restaurant? It, it, first of all, it's so easy. If the, it, whatever the check is, just you know, ten percent times two. Right? Done. Done. Very easy. Done. Right? The level of difficulty that I make this problem is yeah. unbelievable. And then I feel yeah. like someone's looking at me, so I get even more uncomfortable about right, it. Right. I'm like, what could what could what could be? possibly eight times two be? Oh my god, what could it be? Mm. Every time. Um, my thing is, I, I get will nervous. I have to sweat, and my shirt's all sweaty. I'll I'll do the ten percent, double it, and I'm like, nah, that's not. Let me really add five enough. bucks. Let me add, let me add five bucks, and then I'm like, mm, is that really? That's only twenty eight percent. Maybe I should add ten bucks, and then I just I tip until I run out no, of money. I tip I tip twenty percent across the board, unless it's at a restaurant that I go to. You know, I would say more than three times a year. Yeah. And then I, then I always tip more because I'm a, re I'm a regular or whatever and, yeah, uh, yeah. and they're really nice people. And like, I, tip, I tip too much. I'll tip, tip 30%, well, well, you're 35%. Rich. <laughs> it is, yeah, I started this company. So anyways, Grand Seiko says these watches were inspired by the Genbi Valley in Japan's Iwate, Iwate Prefecture. You can see it actually immediately. It's oh, amazing. You can see it in the water, <laughs> so you can see it in the trees, and you can see it in the gradients of the trees. It's nasty, it's so beautiful. Nasty in a good way. Yeah, that nasty is, in a good way. We had to specify that today. Well, we were downstairs with Anthony, who you should email Anthony at London Jewels, Anthony, mm -hmm. um, and I picked out this watch, and I said, wow, that watch is nasty. And he goes, oh, I oh, I actually like it. I, I was like, no, like nasty in a good way. You don't way. like it? I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. So, this watch is 37.3 millimeters. Yep. Really great size. It is clearly a dress watch. There is no date. And 30 meters water resistance. Yep. Just so everyone's aware, the watch we are showing is not this watch. We are showing the... This is the SBGY007. So, uh, it's like James Bond, you know? Yeah. You know, it's got nothing to do with James Bond. But, but it's, it's kind of cool. like James Bond. Yeah. I, okay, you want to show off this watch? I mean, this watch is yeah. crazy. So, we, we're at London Jewelers. London, again, is an authorized dealer of Grand Seiko, um, which you could spend an hour looking in the Grand Seiko showcase. Mm -hmm. um, I saw I, this watch is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. This watch is I, I'm gonna. I mean, now you know what? I'll go on my right wrist if that's if that's hard. Double watch it, but yeah. This watch, the, the the proportions of the case, the polish. But for, I mean, listen, I, I hate to be that guy, but like, the dial alone. Like I, 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 you know, yeah. when I, when I when I overlook a case or whatever, like just now, I said to myself, wow. How I just disrespected the case maker so much because the case maker is in them themselves like a genius. Right. Between the architecture right. and the finishing, mm -hmm. 
this is genius, right? Yeah. Look at the way it hugs the wrist. It's yeah, beautiful. Of course. Right. But like the dial, the dial too. Is insane. Yeah. I yep. mean, Jesus. Th this incredible pattern. I mean, it looks so natural. Mm -hmm. You know, and then obviously all the high polish, the Zeratsu on the hands and the indices. Yeah, and a gorgeous movement. It's the 9R31, which is a manual wound spring drive. Uh, spring drive obviously being one of Grand Seiko's, you know, crowning technological achievements. Mm -hmm. um, again, this is this is in the Elegance Collection. Uh, I, I, I can't say enough about this watch, you know, positively. I mean, I think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. I think it's a perfect dress watch. Mm -hmm. And I think you put it on a suede strap and it becomes... Not, I mean, it's not a sports watch, yeah, but of it, it goes down, ca it goes so casual, so quickly. Uh, imagine that on a, on a tan suede strap. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you've got... Broken in, so it's just like hugging yeah, your it's, wrist. It's 100%. Perfect. The grand finale. Yes. I am wearing this shirt. Can you see? I see the shirt. I typically don't wear shirts like this. No, you should typically wear t-shirts. T-shirts. This feels like a costume. Wearing a suit feels like a costume. So you're playing me for the day? Yeah, I do. I put this on. I Actually, I took it off and was going to go with a t-shirt. And then when you said you were wearing this, yes. I was like, okay, well, whatever. I'll just wear this. Yeah. Uh, this, I don't like wearing this. I don't like wearing suits. I don't like wearing like loafers. Just don't like it. I recently realized I have been, you know, I wear the G-Shock. I have an Apple Watch. I have a Rolex. I have a few other watches as well. I usually gravitate towards a G-Shock and an Apple Watch because I am realizing that while I like the aesthetics of those watches, I really like watches that I can go anywhere with and not be concerned about. Right. And that is similar to how I feel with these shirts too. I'm like, eh, right. that's a nice shirt, I don't want to like get it messed up. Right. So I'm on the hunt for a dive watch. And I have, and I don't want like a sub or anything like that yet, I'm not mm -hmm. at that point. Mm -hmm. But, so these are the watches that I'm thinking about so far. And I want to hear what other people say. And I want to hear what you're thinking, Are too. you asking for advice from, from the viewers? Yeah. This is great. Oh, boy. This reminds me of, like, Dora the Explorer. <laughs> they have to slow Oh, you know what's so funny? Like, I just noticed that, the, that it was actually Dora the Explorer, but... Everybody says Dora the Explorer? My, my mother said it, because she's like, you know, it's all... Dora so the they, Explorer. Oh, yeah, you're watching Dora the Explorer. I also... Well, hold on. I don't know if that's true. Isn't it Dora the Explorer? Or is it Dora the Explorer? I don't know, because she speaks Spanish? No, it's Dora the Explorer. Yeah, totally. Yeah, Dora the Explorer. Wow. Yeah, well, I, um, there's, a, there's a lumber shop near my house called Westfield Lumber. Yeah. And well, some, one time someone asked my mom, oh, where'd you get the paint? And she goes, Westfield Lumber. And yeah, the woman for, for uh, maybe weeks even was like, where's, where's Westfield Lumba, L-U-M-B-A? She's Googling it, won't come up. It's like, I'm embarrassed to ask Jen again where, where, where the store is. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, it's on South Avenue, Westfield Lumba. You, you're gonna find it, it's, yeah, it's right there. It's I can't right believe there. you haven't seen it yet. You've never seen a Lumba, Lumba. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, watches. anyways, anyways. I'm really on the Oris train right now. Mm. I really, really like Oris. And obviously it's, it's between oh, the 65. Oh, yeah, <laughs> all aboard. <laughs> Obviously between the 65 and the Aquas. Yeah. I, and I really like like the cotton candy dials. Yep. But I also like these um, these plastic dials. Yeah, they're very cool. So those are my main ones. Yep. But I'm also stuck on Nomos too. Love Nomos. Nomos Club. Yep. I think it's not the club camp, it's just the club in orange. It's not a dive watch, yep. but it's 100 meters water resistance. Yep. So I feel okay with that. And then their Aloha series. Mm -hmm. Very loud is a bright red dial. Yes. Those are what I'm thinking so far. Yeah, what first do you of think? all, okay, so what do you guys think? Oh, yeah. What do I think? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just glad you're going with fun colors. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, I, I don't I, want I, it to be bland. I love that. Yeah. I, I think that, that that's the way to go. You're not going to wear the watch every day, right? Like, mm -hmm, it doesn't, mm -hmm. you, know, you don't care about it clashing with your shirt, no. you know? Because I'll never um, wear the shirt again. Yeah, you exactly. Can have shirt. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you for thinking I'm your size. Yeah, we're on the same size. I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel so skinny now. <laughs> um, but no, I think that's great. I mean, I, I, I mean, listen, I'm an almost guy. Yeah, I am. Yeah, it's more dressy. Um, it's more dressy. I, yep. do, I just love the. I love the company. I haven't worked with Oris, so it's it, it just it's just natural, right? Like, yeah, right. Like I am so invested in Nomos. I've told their story so many times mm -hmm. that I don't know. Like, I have a love affair with the company. Yeah, of course. Um, so I'm, I'm not as invested in, in Oris because maybe I don't know as much about them. We haven't worked with them. Yeah, you know, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, I do love their their Diver 65. Their Aquas is is, is not a watch on my list. Yep. Um, I think it's a cool watch mm -hmm. it's for a lot of people. It's not for yep. me. Yep. Um, but the Diver 65, you can't miss. You and just can't. You ready for something even better? What? They did a collaboration with a raw denim brand, Momotaro. Did they really? They did. Diver they 65? Have a, a denim strap with the, the two dial? battle stripes. No, no, oh, just the strap. That would Which be is cool. kind of even better, though. Wow, that's really cool. And that's what I love. 
So I kind of see that, and I'm the like, Iron Snail. The Iron Snail. Go check out the Iron Snail YouTube channel. Yeah, do it. Um, but yeah, I think that's really cool. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I'm going to read all the comments, and so we'll comment I. back. That's great. Uh, as far as my next watches, thanks for asking. Um, no problem. <laughs> I think the next watch I'm going to buy is uh, is JLC's Reverso uh, Moon. Wait, there's one more watch you're going to get. Well, the Cardi. I don't count that, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. a tax write-off. Yeah, it's a tax write-off. <laughs> Uh, but the, the Reverso Moon, I think, is great. We haven't worked with JLC yet. JLC is not a client of mine. Um, or mine. So, right. Uh, so, when, so when we do work with them, I'm going to probably celebrate with buying that watch because I really, really love it. Um, and and, and it's, it's not like quid pro quo. It's not quid pro quo. It's, it's just I, I get, so, again, like we said before, I get so invested in these brands when we work together because I, all I do is read about them for, for weeks. You, yeah. know? Mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't, I don't really read about other brands during that time, you know. Uh, yeah, my, my my dad made a reference the other day. You know, when like w I treat a client like Tom Hagen from The Godfather. You know, only have one client at the time. When, yeah, when right. you're my client, you're my only client. You know, yeah. that's one of those. And then after you're done, you're no longer no. Yeah, you're, <laughs> but, you're, uh, you're gone. No, no. But really, I get so invested. So um, I'd love to work with JLC, and and that's probably my next watch. Yeah. You know, that's my next watch. And my last watch is in my pocket. What? Yeah, it's my oh, it's next to my keys. No way. It's next to my keys. In I my heard. Pocket. I my heard brigade. storing your keys next to your watch it's is bad. the best thing you can it's do. It's bad your for watch. scratches. No, no, no. It's the best thing. Get yeah. your watch used to it. It's like germs <laughs> for babies. Yeah, I love this watch. Anyway, That's great. Come take a look at uh, London Jewelers Selection here in Manhasset or in the other locations, East Hampton, Southampton, uh, New York City, really all over. And shoot Anthony an email. Again, he's a store manager here, and any friend of ours is a friend of his. So go ahead and do that. And, and any uh, friend of his is a friend of ours. And any friend of both of ours, that's just a good time. <laughs> take care, guys. <laughs>